In this video, we will try to solve a problem that was asked by a friend, namely Parveen Sultana on YouTube. The question is like this. A firm has a demand and total cost as given that is P is equal to 450 that is 450 minus 2Q. P is the price, Q is the quantity. And our total cost is also given as 20 plus 0.5 Q square. Find the profit maximizing price and output as a function of per unit tax. So we have to find the price and output as a function of per unit tax. So this is our new variable which we see here. Okay. So first we write our profit function is given as P is equal to uh, 450 minus 2 Q. Sorry, this is our price uh, inverse demand function. And let me use another color here. This is our price uh, function. What we call the inverse demand function. And we know the profit maximizing condition is profit maximizing condition is that our marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost. First, we find total revenue. Total revenue is simply price into quantity, which is equal to uh, 450 minus 2Q. This is our P. So this we multiply Q and which comes out to be 450 minus 2 Q square. Okay, this is our total revenue and marginal revenue is simply the derivative of total revenue with respect to quantity that is TR DTR divided by DQ means differentiating total revenue function with respect to quantity. So here I miss uh, this 450 uh, is multiplied by Q. Let me write it here. So this is Q here. Now what is the derivative of Q? It is simply 1. So we write 450 minus derivative of Q square is 2Q. So we have 2 into 2 is 4Q. Okay. This is our marginal revenue. Now what is our marginal cost? Our total cost is given as I will first write the total cost. Total cost is given as 20 plus 0 0.5 Q square and marginal cost is simply the derivative of total cost with respect to quantity. So I will write here DQ. So the derivative of constant is 0, derivative of Q square is 2Q. So this will become 0 0.5. So I will write 0 0.5 derivative of q square is 2q so i will write here 2q this comes out to be uh, 0.5 of 2 is 1 so we are left with q so this is our marginal cost before the imposition of per unit tax okay i hope i'm making sense uh, now what actually we have to find we have to find the profit maximizing price and output as a function of per unit tax okay so for that what will we do we will uh, just uh, take our total cost function this is our total cost function now after the imposition of per unit tax so i will write here after uh, the imposition of imposition of per unit tax per unit tax let us say it is t which is also given in the question now what would be our total cost then our new total cost would be equal to this is our old cost that is 20 plus 0 0.5 q square okay this is that cost before the imposition of per unit tax now when the tax is imposed rather when uh, the per unit tax is imposed then our total cost function would have another term that is t times q and it is obvious here before the imposition of tax our total cost was this these two terms when the tax is imposed on per unit then 
our total cost would be the old cost plus t times q this t is uh, this t is a per unit tax let us say it is 10 percent okay 10 percent of the quantity okay so if quantity is uh, 100 and t is 10 then our uh, this term would be equal to 10 okay so this per unit cost is uh, shown by this very term okay this is that cost before the imposition of per unit tax and this whole thing these three terms is the cost after the imposition of per unit tax now what is our marginal cost then marginal cost so i will write mc dash uh, to differentiate it uh, with the original marginal cost so new marginal cost would be equal to that is del tc let us draw a dash to this also to differentiate it with the old one with respect to quantity now again the derivative of 20 is 0 it is constant derivative of q square is 2q and we got it here q so i will write q plus the derivative of q is 1 so we are left with t okay so this is our new marginal cost now what will we do we will equate this marginal cost after the imposition of per unit tax with our marginal revenue so what is our marginal revenue this is our marginal revenue okay so i will write here let me write uh, uh, profit uh, maximization condition requires our marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost okay our marginal revenue is this 450 so i will write 450 minus 4q and we will equate it with our new marginal cost that is q plus t okay so this per unit tax has shifted our marginal cost uh, by a factor t okay uh, it simply means uh, if originally our marginal cost was let us say this was our marginal cost okay after the imposition of uh, per unit tax our new marginal cost is this very line okay so it has shifted by a factor t here okay now just uh, solving for q so we have transposing this um, negative 4q here so this will become uh, 4q plus q is 5q i will write here 5q is equal to we have 450 and transposing this t here so this will get subtracted or q is equal to 450 taking this 5 on rhs it will get divided so we have 5 here this is t divided by 5 or it is equal to 5 ones are 5 nines are 45 so we are left with 90 in the first term minus uh, 1 by 5 t okay so this is our profit maximizing level of output okay that is 90 plus sorry 90 uh, 90 minus 1 by 5 of tax <coughs> sorry now what would be our uh, profit maximizing quantity so for that i will add up this out to make more space here now our profit maximizing this is our profit maximizing level of output now our profit maximizing level of price would be simply we just insert uh, this very q is equal to 90 minus 1 by 5 t in our inverse demand function to get the profit maximizing level of profit sorry profit maximizing level of price after the imposition of per unit x t so our p would be equal to p is equal to we have 450 i will write here 450 minus 2 
in place of q we have 90 minus 1 by 5 t so i will write 90 minus 1 by 5 t okay now solving this is easy so we have 450 this 2 gets multiplied to each term so we have 2 into 90 is 180 minus minus will become plus so we have here 2 into 1 by 5 is 2 by 5 t or we have 450 minus 180 450 minus 180 0 we have here 7 I hope I am making calculation right so here it is 3 minus 1 is 2 so we have 270 so I will write here 270 here I made the calculation right 0 minus 0 is 0 now 15 minus 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 yes it is 7 here 3 minus 1 is 2 okay it's all correct uh, plus 2 by 5 t okay this is our profit maximizing level of price which is the function of per unit tax and this is our profit maximizing level of quantity which is also the function of per unit tax i hope i make myself clear in this video i will uh, allow if you uh, share this video subscribe and like this video so that i get inspired to make more useful stuff for you okay i hope i am making myself clear thank you